What's happening, polite society? I hope you had a good week. Today, we're continuing our series on Islam, so let's delve in. Hello, everyone. If you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel. I'm Alan. One scholar has aptly described the Christ found within the pages of the Quran. He has said that the Jesus of the Quran is an argument, not a person. He is an argument for Unitarian monotheism. He's an argument for the prophethood of Muhammad. But if you work through Islam's most sacred text, you will search in vain to find a person. In fact, Surah 19 is the only place in the Quran in which Jesus speaks from an identifiable physical location. All of the other times, Jesus is basically a disembodied voice. And even in Surah 19, Jesus' location is a cradle, and he is speaking as an infant. Now, Muslims believe that Jesus was virgin-born, sinless, and worked miracles, even raising the dead. Some Christians may even be surprised to learn that Islam has a view of the second coming of Jesus. In Islamic eschatology, Jesus returns as a Muslim. He prays with Muslim armies. According to one hadith, he will break the cross, kill the pig, and abolish the jizya. In spite of all of this, the Jesus of Islam is a prophet and a man and nothing more. But when one turns to the pages of the New Testament, they see the real Jesus, a real person who is the word who was made flesh and dwelt among us, one whose glory was beheld as the only begotten of the Father, the God-man, the second person of the Trinity, the one who knew no sin, but who was made sin on our behalf, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. This, of course, is the real Christ who we want our Muslim friends to know. The information in this video is primarily derived from the title, What Every Christian Needs to Know About the Quran. I've provided a link to that book in the video description below. I'd, of course, recommend it to you. So let's be in prayer for our Muslim friends. Let's pray that the Spirit of God will work in their hearts so that they will come to know the true Jesus. And ladies and gents, if you want to share your own thoughts, be sure to do so in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content here, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. Then you can hit the bell for notifications. I upload a new video every Wednesday and every Saturday. Have an awesome week. And for my brothers and sisters in the Lord, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all always. I will see you all in the next video. God's blessings on your week.